Hello everybody, welcome to another legendary build. Today we're celebrating the 1000 subscriber milestone by making Jesus Christ. Buckle up because you're either gonna love this or hate it. There is no in between. As always, keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with the ability scores. Using the standard point array, we'll put the 15 into charisma. The trick to starting a religion is getting people to believe in you. Next, we'll put the 14 into wisdom and the 13 into intelligence. You've gotta be one smart cookie to teach the teachers. We'll put the 12 into strength, carpentry is hard work, and then the 10 to dexterity. Lastly, we'll dump constitution. Dying is kind of the whole point. For race, we're going with variant human. Pitch forks down, let me cook. In order for the sacrifice to work, Jesus had to live a fully mortal life. That's why I'm not going Azamar. We'll put our increases in the charisma and intelligence to take the inspiring leader feat. I'll we'll also take religion and speak common and celestial. We'll take the guild artist in background getting guild membership, inside persuasion, and carpenter's tools. What do you think he did with his life before preaching? We'll also speak Infernal to talk to Satan. Moving on to class, we need something capable of performing miracles, rebelling against the current establishment, and both capturing and inspiring the hearts of millions. Yes, that's right. Your lord and savior was a bard. Ah, I can hear the keyboards already. Anywho, we'll get dexterity and charisma saving throws and pick history, medicine, and perception for skills. We'll also get light armor, bard weapons, and proficiency with the lyre, the horn, and the tauntaun. The first two because heavenly choir, the third because church choir. At level one, we'll get bardic inspiration and two cantrips. We'll take light for a glowing halo effect and vicious mockery. Jesus was not above a good burn. Oh, is the way a woman's dressed making you act up? Gouge your eyes out. We'll also get four spells, but we're only picking three. There's going to be a lot of catch up with this build. We'll take command because God, cure wounds for some healing, and silvery barbs for more smack talk. At LT we'll get jack of all trades, song of rest, and magical inspiration. Obviously skipping the spell here. I'm going to start calling those blanks. At LT we'll get our bard college shaking college of lore. You gotta know the law of Moses to fulfill the law of Moses. We'll get cutting words, seriously he hits where it hurts, and take proficiency with arcana, animal handling, and nature. I thought about taking intimidation, but that's more his followers thing. We'll also take expertise in religion and insight. We'll also take aid for pre-healing and swap a blank for calm emotions. At level 4 we'll raise charisma and take friends. We'll take enthrall to draw a crowd in for a sermon and swap a blank for lesser restoration. Jesus healed a lot of diseases. We're also caught up on spells now. At level 5 we'll get d8 inspiration and font of inspiration. We'll also take suggestion. People sometimes just do what Jesus says. At level 6 we'll get counter charm and additional magical secrets taking water walking and create food and water to feed 5,000 people. That's probably going to take all of your slots for the day. We'll also take tongues. At level 7 we'll draw a blank and at level 8 we'll cap our charisma. Another blank too. At level 9 we'll get a d8 song of rest. We'll also get greater restoration for those tougher healings and swap a blank for legend lore. His dad created the world. He better know the lore. At level 10 we'll get a d10 inspiration and expertise in history and persuasion. We'll also take blade ward. He takes an ungodly amount of punishment at the end. <laughs> I'm going to hell. We'll also get another set of magical secrets taking Dispel Evil and Good to cast out Devils and Blight. That victory had it coming. We don't get a normal spell, but we'll swap a blank for Raise Dead. At level 11, we'll take Hero's Feast for the Last Supper. For thematic appropriateness, save this for right before you fight the big bad. At level 12, we'll raise our wisdom, and at level 13, we'll get D10, Song of Rest, and Mass Suggestion. A lot of people sometimes just do what Jesus says. At level 14, we'll get Peerless Skill and more magical secrets. We'll take Scrying, Jesus is watching you, and Contingency. Now back all up, this one requires some real bending. Contingency requires you to cast a spell that you can cast on yourself. We are going to be using it with Raise Dead. There's nothing in the Raise Dead spell that says you can't cast it on yourself. You just normally don't have the means to if you're dead. So what you do is set up contingency to go off three days after you die. Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone else, I present to you the resurrection of Christ. At level 15, we get D12 inspiration and take heal. This one is for blindness, deafness, and whatnot. At level 16, we'll raise intelligence. At level 17, we'll get D12 song of rest and take regenerate. This one's for leprosy. The Bible loves it some leprosy. At level 18, we'll get our last set of magical secrets, taking control whether to calm a storm and glibness. Jesus never once lost an argument. At level 19, we'll raise our intelligence. At level 20, we'll get superior inspiration. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. For inventory, we'll take a holy symbol for a cross. You think he'd use a cross? I don't don't know if I'd want to see a miniature version of the thing I died on. Our AC is 10, our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 83 with 20 D8 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Now what can this build do? To start, we're an excellent support healer giving big inspiration and bigger heals. We're also extremely good at ending encounters peacefully and we know basically all of the lore. 
We can even cheat death if we plan ahead. For weaknesses, our actual combat damage is extremely limited and we're beyond squishy. Technically more HP than Gengar, but with none of the defensive options. But is that really a weakness if we want to die? Thank you everybody so much for watching and thank you again for 1000 subscribers, assuming I don't lose a few for this. If you'd like to further support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. $1 a month gets you 2 day early access to my videos and a chance to vote for future characters and access to all of my homebrew content. Let me know who you'd like to see in future legendary builds and I'll see you all next week when I make Asgore from Undertale.